Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm going to wait for a few people to pop on and get you guys up on my screen so I can see your messages when we turn this puppy around and get some stamping done. Hi Rhonda, you popped in here first tonight. Okay, where's my live? I'm looking for it. It's coming. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great day. Um, I know there's a lot of people getting tired of being locked at home, right? Gosh, I hope there's a lot of crafting going on and you're taking advantage of this time to get some creative work done. Or maybe, I was thinking about it too, it might be a good time to be cleaning things out. I know Steve has been, he was touching up the um, Haley's old bedroom all day today. So he got, um, we have like slanted ceilings. So you have the ceiling and then the slant thing because we're in a really old house. And um, he needed to put another coat of paint on that slanted part because our guy, um, while he painted it, it needed two coats. So that's what Steve did today. And he went and got some molding for our um, laundry room that we had redone a few months ago. And... My phone just came up low power. Rrr. Yeah, so I see everybody popping in here. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Cynthia. We've got Cindy. How is it out there on the West Coast? Patty Skiba's here. Patty, I hope you're feeling better now. We've got Pam in, Michelle. I had Haley here most of the day today. She was um, working on swap cards. Got some more swap cards done and out in the mail. Hi, Brooke, Lisa, Charlene. Yeah, Charlene says she worked from home and her brain is fried. She wants me to recharge her. Well, sister, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Don't worry. So yeah, like my day totally didn't go the way I planned it to go. Because I said I'd be on around noon. I'm only five hours late. Well, four hours and 45 minutes. Hi, Jody, Lisa, Sarah. Welcome. I'm happy to see you here. Lori popped in. Yeah, so um, I ran into a lot of trouble last night when I was trying to do the postage for my kits that I needed to get out in the mail today. Today was my deadline that I set for myself and told everybody I'd get them out in the mail. Now, if you ordered on the second round, those will be going out later. But on the first round um, from earlier this month, all of those orders went out today. But last night, PayPal was acting stupid, and I used PayPal to do all my postage labels and postage and the address labels, and it would only let me do one at a time. Yeah, I was a little stressed over that. So usually I can go in and I have to click on each person and then assign, you know, what kind of mailing I'm doing and whether it's a box or an envelope and then I say add to the order and I have to do that for each person you know well, last night I had to not only do that but then I had to pay for it and then I had to go in and click on print and then open a new print window and then actually click on the print and then start that whole process all over again so I got pretty frustrated last night and I went to bed <laughs> and so when I got up this morning I was hoping that PayPal would correct its little problem it was having because this has happened before and um, it did for a while, and then it started doing the stupid thing again. So I had to process each one individually. Then I got them all taped up and bundled up and closed up and all the labels on and all the things and all the different ones. And my husband loaded them all in um, the car to take to the post office today. And he loaded an entire batch of them that I hadn't taped yet. So when I got to the post office, I had to bring those back home and tape them up and take them back to the post office. And then I thought, okay, I'm ready to go live. And then he hollers and says, supper's ready. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, you just can't win. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Marcia says, oh my, one at a time, you earned your halo. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll tell you what. And you know, sometimes I get a little cranked about stuff like that. Like there's some naughty words that fly around in here and I'm just like, Ugh. but today I was just like, 
it is what it is, right? Just plow through it, Kelly. Get, all I wanted to do was get them done. They're a huge undertaking, and I just wanted them done and out in the mail so you guys get your Easter kits. <laughs> and I did it. And then I had to figure out what I was going to... Oh, and then it gets better. I had to figure out what I was going to do today, and I had this card all picked out using the Buy the Dock bundle. Cool card. going to share it with you. And so I sat down to start cutting and getting ready to do my Facebook Live. Yeah, I don't own that bundle. <laughs> like, how can you not even know that, right? I swore I had that bundle, but I, I didn't. And I did a search. You can do a history search on your orders. Everybody can. You can on your online account. I can in my demonstrator account. I did a search and I never owned that, so, that bundle. So... Guess what's on Kelly's list for her next order? Buy the dock. Oh my gosh, it's such an amazing bundle. I can't believe that I don't have it, but I will soon. Don't you worry. So we have winners from yesterday. Um, I went through everybody who left a comment. Please make sure you're leaving comments if you're coming um, to watch me live. And I will put you in a drawing to win fabulous, amazing product. And our winner from, not yesterday, because that was my um, normal Facebook Live. I'll be drawing from yesterday, next Sunday. So from Saturday's Facebook Live, I said I'd give these away. And Brooke Van Buskirk, I know you're on here watching. These are yours. So I will get these to you. Brooke is actually my assistant. She lives about three blocks away from me, which is really convenient. I dropped off her welcome Easter kit today. And I will also get these to you. So congratulations, Brooke. And then we have some ribbon that Terry sent me um, that I said I would be giving away as prizes. And the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. And I picked a winner, and Betty Meyer is our winner. Congratulations, Betty. So I will be popping this in the mail to you, and I'll get these to you, Brooke. Who doesn't love prizes, right? Yes. Okay, um, Sharon just said she got that bundle recently and somebody just asked me a question, I think. Hang on, the, how do you do a search? Okay, so um, what you do, Mary Lynn, is you go into your account and then I think if you click on, there's tabs, and if you click on my account, there's under that there's um, order history. Click on that, it'll show you all your orders. Sometimes people don't want to go look at that because then it tells you how much money you've spent. <laughs> Nobody wants to see all that. <laughs> so even as a demonstrator, it tells me how much money I've spent since I started 16 years ago. Do you guys want to know that number? It's pretty, it's, it's like really kind of outrageous. Um, yeah, let me find it because I think it's like a really a lot of money. <laughs> But it's been 16 years, right? So I'll tell you guys, just for fun. Oh, I just got timed out. Hang on. I have to look myself up. And I have a regular account, just like my customers do. And I'll type in A-C-H-E-S-O-N. Whoops, I spelled my name wrong. S-O-N. There we go. Um, yeah, I hate looking at this number because it like it really kind of slaps you in the face. Okay, who's ready? Who can guess? Who can guess how much they think that I have spent on stamping up supplies in my 16-year career? Mm, who's got a guess? Maybe I'll tell you at the end. You guys put numbers in there and guess. Uh, Marsha asks, who won? Brooke Van Buskirk and Betty Meyer. They were the big winners from Saturday's drawing. And Mary Lynn says, as long as the spouse does not see the money that you spent. Oh, I totally get it, right? <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are having a good day. Are you getting a little stir crazy yet? I actually, when I left the post office for the second time today, because once wasn't enough, I um, actually, we live, well, the post office, you can see the river channel from the post office. Oh, I see the numbers coming in. And um, it goes out to our lake, Lake Winnebago, which is a huge lake. So when I left the post office today, I actually drove down the channel um, on the street, not in the channel, of course. And then I went through Jefferson Park, which is where I go every 
Every day in the summertime, I ride my bike through Jefferson Park by Lake Winnebago and then go over to the um, Heck Rot Nature Preserve. That's where I see all the deer all the time and do all that. Well, today I just drove my car through there because I like needed a little bit of a mental break. I almost went to McDonald's and got a shake, but then I didn't. <laughs> Glad I didn't too because I came home and Steve had cheeseburgers and french fries for supper and he grilled them on his new grill. They were delicious and he toasts the buns. I know, I'm spoiled. Yeah, look at all those numbers coming in. Some of you guys are way crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are really close. So, Jody, 350,000. <laughs> You're so funny. Um, yeah, I am going to actually go look and see if I have hit my next $10,000 increment. I forgot to look that up before I came on tonight, and we definitely want to celebrate that, right? Okay, here we go. I got that. I got my activity detail, and nope. Got about $700 to go, you guys. So we'll be doing that soon. I'm excited. Okay. Um, <laughs> who just said they're in the Alabama abandoned beach? Jeannie. Jeannie's on the beach. Abandoned. That makes me sad. Yeah, and Marsha's down in Florida. Um, she took a ride before they head back to Wisconsin. I saw Haley pop in here. Mary Lynn, good girl. Thank you, Mary Lynn. Yeah, her, right? Gotta be careful. <laughs> careful with the McDonald's and the shake. But I do like a chocolate shake. So, are we ready to stamp? I am actually, where's my stamp sets? Okay, so, today, I told you we were going to be doing a masculine card. And even though we couldn't do the buy the dock card that I wanted to do, I still held my end up with masculine cards. I've actually got two of them for you tonight. I chose the well-dressed. This is an awesome masculine stamp set, free with the $50 order until the end of March. And um, somebody said they could they could order under $9,000. Let me ask my husband if I can order $9,000. <laughs> you do that, Mary Beth. You let me know what he says. <laughs> okay, and Indiana is on lockdown, Jody said. Wait, the scrolling just keeps happening. Starting Wednesday, yeah. Well, Haley's kind of freaking out because um, New York just locked down their hospitals, even for expectant mothers, even the dads not allowed. So we are keeping our fingers crossed that if that happens to happen in Wisconsin, that it will be over with by the time Lee Lee is born, right? Because we need to not worry about that right now. You need to just keep yourself sane, Haley, and hopefully things will pass before the baby is here. That's, we just have to stay positive. So everybody, prayers, looking for prayers. Anybody need prayers around the country? Because we're here to offer them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know people are getting really stir crazy. And I, I am a little bit myself. But I've been so darn busy, I don't have time. Today, I intended on doing my Facebook Live at noon and then taking the rest of the day off. And well, obviously, that didn't happen, did it? So maybe I'll shoot for tomorrow. And you know what I want to do? I just want to watch a movie. I just want to go in the living room. I want to get up and not take a shower <laughs> and stay in my pajamas and go in the living room and eat some popcorn and some sour patches and watch Gone Girl. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, let's flip this camera around and we will make some man cards because our men need cards too. Oops, I just goofed something up on my screen. Hang on. Let's get back to that live. There it is. I've got people popping in here like crazy instant messaging me and I got to close all those down. All right. Are you guys ready? Are we ready to do the flip? Hang on to your hats. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'm going to flip this around now. There we go. That was a pretty smooth transition. Oh, I know. I was going to mention, I've had people ask me to um, zoom in when I'm doing this, and I can't really do that. Um, first of all, I only have a tiny little space here to work in. And if I zoom in and I move like this, then you can't see what I'm doing. And that is something that happens to me a lot if I'm too close. I feel that my camera is close enough right now for you to be able to see what I'm doing. But... I wanted to mention, if you want to get a better look at the cards that I have made, 
They're always on my blog right here, www.astampabove.com. And if you click and go, if you, if you type that in and go to my blog, you will see still photos if you need to see. And you can then take them on your phone screen and zoom them up so you can see any details that you're looking for. I just wanted to make sure you know that. As more and more people are watching me on their phone, yeah, it's a tiny little device. You don't have a great big screen. So I recommend a laptop or at least get on an iPad um, or just go to my blog and you'll see the still photos for all the projects that I'm making. Okay, we are going to bring in some really cool masculine colors. What do you think about those, you guys? What we have here, whoops, hang on, I've got dyes falling all over the place. What we have here is Pretty Peacock, and this is five and a half by eight and a half. And like I said, with these Facebook Lives that I'm doing on a daily basis, I am not putting a ton of information with the cards on my blog because all of that takes a tremendous amount of time. So if you want dimensions during my daily Facebook Lives, you're going to need to write them down. Um, my Sunday night Facebook Live goes on same as usual. I will always provide you with all the information from that. But with these daily ones, I need to cut back someplace, and that's where I'm cutting back. And you're not going to find as much blah, blah, blah in my blog posts. I do have photos there, but I'm probably not taking as many photos as I would for a normal Facebook Live. So just know that I need to kind of cut these a little bit. Granny Apple Green, four by five and a quarter, and I've got two of them here. So we're gonna do something interesting there. And then I decided to bring out the gorgeous Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. Now, if you ordered my kit, my Easter kit, you had the opportunity to choose a celebration item, and a lot of people chose this beautiful embossed foil paper. Look at all these gorgeous designs. This is free until March, through March 31st with your $50 order. It's one of our celebration items, and it's copper and silver, or rose gold if you want to call it that, and silver embossed paper. Absolutely beautiful. You get 12 sheets of it, and there's four different patterns, so you get three of each. Is that right? I think that's right. Anyways, you get a lot. And so that's what I chose to use. And I really like this one that's like a hash pattern. I, I just think that's gorgeous. Then I've got a scrap of Whisper White and a scrap of Pretty Peacock. And we're going to be bringing in our Granny Apple Green. And Marcia says she sure hopes that the foil paper goes in the book. It will not, Marcia. Um, we do not put stuff in um, the big catalog that's that's free during celebration. It's just something that Stampin' Up! stopped doing years ago because it kind of undermines the whole celebration promotion, I guess, as much as I would like to see it in there too. Don't get me wrong, but it has been history that they do not do that. So just so you know. So I'm just going to take this little pocket watch and I want to stamp it very randomly around the page. So I'm kind of twisting and turning and going off the edge because I want this to look like it's just kind of a collage all over the place. I'm going to turn it around this time and maybe go like that, okay? So this is what we have so far. I didn't need to stamp anything there, but whatever. <laughs> you can't get everything right, right? Okay, we are going to take this and put it on the front of our card panel. Yeah, Susan said she was hoping it would go in the new book, too. Um, yeah, it's not. I'm really sorry. I, I would love to keep using it and to keep keep it available because, oh my gosh, I have so many ideas in my head that I don't know if I'll ever really get them all made. You know what I mean? Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces. Now, this piece of the hashtag, oh, and by the way, this paper is only one-sided. It's not double-sided. But this piece is two and a half by five and then this little piece is three quarters by four and what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in our pretty peacock ink 
and a sponge. And you might notice that my fingers are a little dirty. I just scrubbed them with the lava soap, trying to get the blue ink off of them, but I wasn't real successful because I was had to do it really quick. So we're just gonna take our pretty peacock ink and we're going to color. Oh, I was gonna get out those cards that I already made doing this too. I wonder, I'll, I'll see if I can find them when we're done with this card. Because I have some other cards that I did the same technique with. And I thought I'd just show those to you too. Okay, look at how pretty that is. And then I like to take a tissue and polish the copper or rose gold color off so that it's bright and shiny. You can see a little bit of ink coming off on there. So we've got this three quarter inch piece and now I'm going to take the bigger, this is the two and a half by five inch piece. I know my table's probably jiggling, which is jiggling my phone, but um, you're going to have to just enjoy the ride. <laughs> enjoy the jiggle ride until I'm done doing this part because my table isn't the sturdiest thing in the world. I say that when I move into my new stamping room, which probably won't come for a while, but when I do, I'm going to have the sturdiest phone set up ever so that my camera doesn't jiggle around because I hate that for you guys. It like really makes me crazy and I'm sure it annoys some of you too and some of you really don't care but I care. I want you to be stable. See you get a little blue just a little. Now I'm gonna wipe off, polish up that beautiful beautiful paper. Isn't that pretty? Okay let me set these aside. Now we've got a granny apple green on the front and a granny apple green right here. And what we're going to do with this layer is add some glue to it and we're going to put this right down here. And I just thought this was kind of an interesting thing to do. I've done this before, but not very often. I'm going to trim this off. Oh, I hear Steve out there closing up his new grill. He said his new grill doesn't have a back on it, like behind the tank. The tank is underneath, so you would like open up like a little cupboard. It doesn't have a back on it so you can see right through it. He said he does not like that so he has a piece of sheet metal in the garage and he is going to make a back for his grill. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> you do that. We're going to put this on the inside of our card and I just thought what an interesting thing to have green for our inside layer to write on. That's right. That's what I picked, green to write on. What do you guys think? Is that cool? Yeah, I, I don't usually do that. I don't usually put colored cardstock inside, but you can write on this just as well as you can write on white. And it's kind of cool. I like being cool. <laughs> okay, next thing we're gonna do with this layer is we're going to take it and we're going to cut a slit in the middle and we're gonna bring in both sides and make a banner. I want kind of a shallow banner. I like that look for this card that I'm making. Hang on, I hate it when I have those little tear pieces. You know what I mean, right? You get them too. Oh, I didn't get it yet. There we go. Okay, so here's our banner. I'm going to take this and put it right in the middle on my granny apple green layer. Now, if you wanted to, I was thinking after I did this, um, if you wanted to, you could stamp these with Versamark ink and then use copper embossing powder and make them copper. That would look really cool too, I think, don't you? I think that would be a cool look for that. Then, I've got my Positive Thought stamp set out here. And um, Ashley just said she hasn't said yet. What haven't I said, Ash? Like, what did I, oh, guess I missed it. How much has Kelly invested? Oh, I have not said yet. Are you guys ready to know? Let me go look at my number again, because I forgot. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. I remember nothing. Um, here it is, here it is. Wait for it. 27,199. Who is close? I saw a lot of numbers coming in there close, you guys. $27,199. Now, don't tell Steve that because he'll flip right out. No, he won't. Um, I make my own money, so it's none of his business. <laughs> That's how we roll in this household. Um, I decided to bring in positive thoughts, 
and I'm going to be using the sentiment that says friends like you mean more every year and I love I love all three of these sentiments and they're very appropriate for what's going on in the world right now hugs prayers love sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes friends like you mean more every year and isn't that the truth so this is a great card that I could send let's say I had a neighbor who came over and helped me with something this would be a great card to give to him. So um, I just thought it was a nice idea and a nice greeting. I'm going to stamp that with the pretty peacock on a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to die cut it. Oh, I have to, I want to show you which one I use. I've got the rectangle stitched framelits here. I love these. Love, love, love them. And this is how they come in the package. The die that I'm using here is the one that goes right in here. So that's next, the next to smallest die out of that side. I actually have two packs of these. My other one I have numbered. Whoops. And then always, if you cut die cut something and don't use it, throw it in the back there. You might use it for something else. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and die cut it in my big shot. And then you guys know I'm a little more prepared today than I have been on these daily Facebook. So I've already done that. And don't you love the stitched edge? That is such a trendy look right now in card making and scrapbooking. These are great for everything I do is great for scrapbooking. If you're a scrapbooker, you know that, right? If you're not a scrapbooker and you've been thinking about becoming a scrapbooker, just know that all of these tips and techniques can be used for scrapbooking also. Okay, here we go. Got my dimensionals, and I'm going to take this and put it centered, straddle it right over that banner right here. What do you guys think so far? We're not done, but I just thought that looked pretty cool. Now I'm going to bring in my scrap of um, Pretty Peacock, and I'm going to use Pretty Peacock ink. And Haley was here today when I was designing this card, and we went back and forth which with which color, or at least I went back and forth, and then she approved my final selection with which color I should be using for my hat. And um, I tried stamping Pretty Peacock on Whisper White, and that just didn't go real good on the front of my card. Then I used Pretty Peacock ink and stamped my hat on Granny Apple Green, and that didn't look good. And then I came to the Pretty Peacock on Pretty Peacock, and that's the final decision that I made. And I thought it just looked really um, kind of regal and chic and gangstery, right? I love this gangster hat. I've said that before. Okay, and it's really easy to cut out. So we're just going to put, oh, look, I used them all. Woohoo! Even the edges. I love it when I do that, but I've got lots of these little edges, so I can't get out a new pack yet. Don't you love it when you get out a new pack of dimensionals? It's like, oh, look at, they're all like pristine and beautiful. It's those little things that make me happy. <laughs> I have a cheap date. That's what my husband always says too. She, you're a cheap date. Okay, here comes our hat. What do you guys, oh, let's get the garbage out of there. What are you guys thinking so far? Next, I am going to bring in my copper trim. This is copper, copper. I love, love, love that this all matches, right? So I'm going to take a piece. Uh, it's about probably about six inches long. I've got it um, folded in half, and I'm going to tie a knot right in the middle of it. And you can do this however you want. You can do two pieces at three inches each, or you can take a six-inch piece and do what I just did, fold it in half, tie a knot. And I'm going to trim this little loop going to cut that so now it looks like we just have two pieces and then I love the way this stuff does that now this is really really cool for fish netting too so if you have like by the sea stamp set or that one with the octopus in it I can't remember what it's called right now but this makes great netting any type of seashells you put this behind them and you spread it all out like this and oh it's gorgeous this is called copper trim and don't forget, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can help me get to ten, get to my million dollar career to date sales total. 
and you can order some copper trim from me if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I don't want to be stealing anybody's customers. That's not my style. But I always appreciate your orders. And of course, you'll find my ordering button on my blog in the right-hand column. So I'm going to put this right here underneath. I've got my little mini glue dot underneath my sentiment layer. And I'm just going to bring this in here like this. And you can kind of finagle this so it's not covering up your words. What do you guys think? Ah! Yeah, I really, really like this. I like the hat kind of sneaking in there being all gangster-like. Friends like you mean more every year. Love it. Bright, bold colors. Mm. Delicious. Frank. Ooh, Daddy says, or Lisa says Frank. Yeah, we should. Yeah, are we naming the hat Frank? Is that what we're doing? Like Frank Sinatra? Uh, Char just asked, how close am I? I am at, oh, geez, I can't remember. We just looked at it, didn't we, folks? You know, I can't remember a darn thing. I am almost at 920,000, so I have about 80,000 to go till I get to my million-dollar mark. And you guys know what you get, right, for the million-dollar mark if you're Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Like, it is a big, big, big deal. Like, a big deal. Um, you get to design your own stamp set. I still, like, haven't even had time to think about that. I know you guys gave me some suggestions. Somebody said that I should do a, um... A grandma set and I I don't know who knows maybe I'll do a grandma I, I probably won't but I think I'd like to do something outdoorsy because I really do enjoy um, the outdoors and hunting and I don't know I don't know we'll have to wait and see anyways okay now we're on to our second card I didn't want to just make one card for you today because I feel like that's kind of a ripoff <laughs> especially since I was so late I felt really guilty about that you guys but there was just nothing I could do about it. Um, my day did not go as I intended it to, for sure. And here we go. So I got a really cute, simple little card. And we're going to be using this paper again. Now, of course, you can do this sponging with any of the um, flowering foil specialty paper, right? You can sponge any of it. You can color with it on Stampin' Blends. We've done that. Oh, I said I was going to get out my other cards, didn't I? Hang on, let me see if I can find them. Uh, that's not the right bin. So Haley and I had a discussion the other day, and I kept, whoops, I kept looking for these cards, um, and I couldn't find them. What are you guys drinking tonight? I just knocked my bottle over. So I'm going to look. Hang tight. I'm going to look for these cards. I don't think they're in here either. Well, we'll keep going, and we'll find them before I quit. How about that? Don't let me forget, because they're really neat, and I need to show them to you. Oh, I bet you they're right here behind me. Nope, they're not. Uh, take a drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> I can't find them. What the heck? Okay, so next... Next card we're going to make, I also pulled out the Granny Apple Green, but this time we're going to pair it up with Bermuda. This is Bermuda Bay, and again, some nice masculine colors. I really um, like these two colors together. They're bold and vibrant. We're going to take our 8.5 by 5.5 inch card base, and then I've got a layer that is 4 by 5 and a quarter. And I ran this layer through... Hang on the Subtles embossing folder. Okay, so that gives you like a linen paper look. Let's do this. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I love, love, love that. And I've got a piece of designer series paper here. This is two by five. And then I also die cut from the stitched shape dies. Look at, I've got them in order again. Did you guys, did you watch me the other day when this was a complete disastrous mess? Yeah, well, I felt guilty about it, so I lined them all up on my little magnet thing. But anyways, I've got the second from largest square here that I die cut a whisper white square out of. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to pull in a new piercing mat so you don't have to look at that mess that I made on the last one. We'll make a mess on this one because that's fun. <laughs> 
we are going to actually take our um, memento black ink pad and we're going to stamp this cutie patootie little stamp. Talk about awesome. Taco about awesome. So we're actually supposed to be going, well, we were going to go to Anna's house tomorrow night for tacos, but then Haley said that mm, there's a lot of people uh, in and out of there, and I think we've just completely decided against it. So we're probably going to take tacos over to Anna's house and leave them there and not actually go there and eat. But anyways, that's, that's our thing to deal with tomorrow. I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blend. Now this little taco guy is again a perfect card for a man because what man doesn't like tacos? Like I don't know any men who don't like tacos and I think if there was a man that didn't like tacos I don't think we could be friends. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, you gotta like tacos. I love tacos. Steve's a good taco maker too. So, have you guys seen the sour cream in the squeeze bottle? We love that for tacos. It's perfect. Anyways, back to our card. Now, I've got this. This is done. I just used. Oh, by the way, I used the light mango melody and the dark granny apple green for the little bit of lettuce sticking out there. Super simple. This is a really quick and easy card. We're going to put some dimensionals on this. Shar says lockdown homebound now. Um, did something just develop or what's happening? <laughs> Wendy wants me to drop some tacos off in Minneapolis for her. I'll be there as soon as I can, Wendy. Don't worry. We've got the tacos covered. <laughs> okay, first things first. I am going to put my card front on my card base and there we go then we've got this two by five inch piece what are we going to do with this well I've showed you how to sponge I've showed you how to use markers you can use a brayer on this paper you can do all kinds of stuff now we're going to do direct to paper with the ink pad ready just like that boom what do you think now I could keep going it's darker right here where I overlapped it to drag it I could keep going but I wanted this to not be perfect um, I could keep rubbing it until it was all uniform in color but tacos aren't uniform in color and men don't really care about things like that <laughs> let's be real they're not going to go, wow, your color really isn't uniform there in the middle. So we can we can take some liberties with the man cards, right? Hmm? What do you think about that? <laughs> okay, um, somebody must be having trouble with messages. Yeah, swipe to the right, swipe to the left. Your messages will come up. I don't even know if that's a conversation going on there, you guys, but I'm assuming it is. Chicken tacos at Lori Tibbetts' house. Lori lives closer to me than Minneapolis, so I might be going there. All right. Here comes our cute little taco bout awesome. Oops, let's see if I can get this off. I'm going to be in some serious trouble here shortly if the nail salons don't open back up because my nails are growing out and you can't just cut these things and do things with them. Okay, we're going to put this right in the middle. We got one more thing to do here. Um, and it gets really, I, I have a hard time typing when my nails get too long. And what happens there is I hit all the wrong letters, so I have to retype things like five times, and it's very frustrating. And that was happening a lot today. So who has chocolate bars? <laughs> I'm going to have some chocolate when I'm done here. One, two, three. And I've got my linen thread. And there we go. Here comes... A cute little linen thread bow. Now, linen thread is the perfect thing. Um, also, the um, copper trim, that's very manly, right? It's a very masculine type of um, texture. Here comes my mini glue dots, and I'm scrunching it up because this is a tiny little piece, right? So I don't like my glue dots sticking out from under my baker's twine or my linen thread. 
So I kind of scrunch them up a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that a great, oh, I forgot to curl my ends. That's a great little accent. This card needed just a little something. Even though it's a bow, nobody's gonna take the man card away of the man you give it to, because it's a bow, because it's linen thread. If it was satin, that might be a little different, right? Look at that. How cute is that? Now, I wasn't gonna put an inside in it, but I think I will. I don't really have anything to stamp on it, but I'm just going to put a white layer in the inside. And have I ever shown you guys my little bin over here? Let me show it to you. This is my little bin. Now all of these pieces in the front are like scraps that I can grab and I keep it sitting right over here on my desk. But all of these pieces, and these are these are scraps too, but all of these pieces right here are four by five and a quarter. Oh, here's some more big ones. Four by five and a quarter inch pieces. I just take a whole pack of white cardstock and cut it so I can just grab card fronts and card insides and have those ready. And then all of these pieces are half inch, okay? All these over here are half inch. This is when I cut cardstock so I, you know, to make the card fronts, you get these half inch pieces. And I use those for little banners, and then I don't know what these bigger ones were from, but they were probably from some kit class that I did pre-cut cardstock for. Um, and then I have some vanilla back here. But this is what I keep right next to my desk, so everything's really quick and easy for me to grab. And, you know, you use a lot of white stuff when you're making cards. Whoops. <laughs> Let's put that back. Let's see if I can ruin everything. I just bonked you guys. I hope I didn't poke anybody's eye out. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Let's clean this mess up. We've got this. Here's our other card. I actually made these ahead of time so I wouldn't be kind of a cluster. <laughs> yeah. And again, with the well-dressed stamp set, this is free with your $50 order. We've also got the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper, free with the $50 order. This was Kathy Miller's design that I absolutely fell in love with. I do have a card challenge going on right now on my Facebook page. So you use this layout and make your own card and then post a picture of it under my post. That's a requirement that you find my post and put your picture under that post and then I'll be having a drawing. And I don't remember when. I said Friday by noon maybe, I think. But here's my envelope flaps and somebody I caught the comment that these really do take your envelopes over the top, right? Yeah, this whole little setup is just so stinking cute. When you go the extra mile and decorate those envelopes, you've just got, I don't know, it's just super, super cute. It just adds so much when you do that. So that was the Witty Sisms stamp set that we used last night, and we made the taco card here. And then I was going to look for those other cards. And I'm trying to think. I know they're in a little bin. And they're someplace here in my office. And I have seen them recently. Like, I've seen them recently. And I don't know where they went. So I'm digging again, you guys. Just hang tight. I hope I'll find them. They're not in here. I don't know what happened to them. Darn it. But anyways, if I find them, I'm still looking, don't worry. <laughs> if I find them, I will, maybe I used them all. That's possible. I have some more cards here. I don't think I put them in here. Um, if I find them, I'll dig them out and show them to you. If not, you can find them on my blog too. They use this paper. Um, I've got a floral one, and then I use this hashtaggy one, too. I'm going to flip you around now, because you know I don't like talking to the back of your head. There we are. Okay, I didn't touch anything and mess anything up. So there. Yeah, Pauline says she agrees. Decorating the envelope flap is the bomb. I know. I love it, right? It's just, and it makes you use your paper. Now, as a demonstrator... I want you to use your paper so you'll buy more. But as a stamper, I need to use this paper up in a reasonable amount of time. Otherwise, it's off. It's not trendy anymore. The colors go out of style. 
the designs go out of style, and if you collect too much designer series paper, what's the next thing coming out of your mouth? I can't possibly buy any more designer series paper. I have a ton of it. Well, nobody wants to be locked out of buying DSP, right? <laughs> exactly. So make sure you share my video. I really appreciate that. That helps my business grow and um, keeps these free videos coming to you. I absolutely love doing this. I have no idea what time I will be live tomorrow. I'm hoping it's a little earlier than this. But I will be live. Just watch for my post. Or you can always watch me on the um, replay. And Kelly says, where do you find what you spent? Okay, so, Mickey, you're going to, if you're a, are you a demonstrator or a customer? Because if you're a customer, you go to your online account, stampinup.com, and sign in. And then you go to my account and then order history. If you're a demonstrator... You're going to go into your business resources and then your customer manager and you're going to type in your name and do a search for you and then when you click on your name as it pops up down below it's going to show you how much money you have spent to date and it's a lot <laughs> yeah oh my gosh who just said that Wendy said the poppy paper is the first time in her 20 years that she's used every single piece. That makes my heart happy. That poppy paper is amazing, right? I'm, I'm really, quite frankly, very tickled pink with all of the paper in the spring mini catalog. It is all gorgeous. You know what I haven't used yet? Let me grab it. All my paper is right underneath. Haley was asking me today, like, where do I find designer paper? And I said, well, it's all right under me. It's under my desk right here. This, the Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series paper is so, so pretty. I haven't used it yet. Like, I haven't cracked open that bundle yet, but I'm going to. Don't worry. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bundle, but we had we have just so many fun things in the spring catalog that um, yeah, I I I've been playing with everything so far. I'm I just need to crack those open. Pam says, so you told us you were going to tell us what you have spent. Oh, I did twenty seven thousand one ninety nine. There you have it. Could buy a nice car for that. <laughs> but then I want to have all of this. And you know what? Car schmar. This makes me happy. Cars, I hate cars. I hate them. I would like them if I didn't have to spend money on them, but I hate them. I love all this. This makes me happy. So there you go. Sharon says she loves the poppy paper too. Penny says she loves that bundle. I do too, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm done. I have not answered my emails today. I have a ton of messages on Facebook to answer, and I think I have a whole bunch of text messages. <laughs> but it's been just a day, and um, I think I'll get to my emails now, and maybe I'll quit for the night, because I've been, uh, I've been uh, working pretty hard lately. I'm reading your comments. Um, <laughs> who just said that? Ginny says, I have a sickness. I use one piece of DSP and want to order another. Well, that's probably pretty normal, Ginny. Don't worry. <laughs> we all do that, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. All right. I am going to sign off. You guys have yourselves a wonderful Monday. And um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I have no idea. I can't make my buy the dock card because I don't own the bundle. <sighs> Gosh, did I feel like a dummy. Because I'm like searching for it and searching for it. And then I then I went online. I'm like, yeah, I've never ordered it. <laughs> oh, well. Popcorn in a movie? Probably not tonight. I've got, once I get into my emails, and it's going to take me forever. I can't even tell you. I'll probably be on my emails for a couple hours. It's already 6.30, 7.30, 8.30. If I go in the living room at 8.30, I'll fall asleep. So I'll be better off working and then take in some time tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. So don't forget, if you need any stamping supplies, I always appreciate your orders. If you would like to join my team, you get 
a free pack of sampler pack of designer series paper. You get a free stamp set of your choice and you always get also, not always, also get this little mini trimmer if you do it before the end of March. Uh, March 31st is the deadline. You can join as a discount shopper or you may want to build a business. I'm here to help people do both. I'll help you spend your money as a discount shopper. <laughs> yep, I will. <laughs> and uh, I can help you build a business too if that's something you're interested in. But $99 to buy the discount shopper kit. You get to choose $125 in any product that you want. You get all that stuff added on top, plus a paper pumpkin, and you get a 20% discount on all your future orders, and you get free shipping too. So it's worth, all this stuff is worth about $215 for $99, plus tax, no shipping. Lisa says, join her team. It's fantastic. Lisa is on my team. She's been on my team for a long time. Thank you so much, Lisa. I always appreciate your sweet comments. She's one of my biggest fans. <laughs> but it really is fun to be on my team. It's really cool to be part of something so much bigger than um, stamping by yourself at home. Being part of a team is just really cool. Mary Lynn says Kelly is a wonderful enabler. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I am. I not, But you know, I enable myself too. So as I'm making this stuff, I'm like, oh, I have to have more of that. Oh, I need to get that. And I, I didn't even know I didn't have by the dock, but I'll have that before the end of the week. So... Yeah, I got to put an order together too. So, um, like I said last night, Ashley and I decided to offer up the pre cut cardstock pack for the Welcome Easter kit. I will be closing that out on Friday and getting those orders out to you as soon as possible. This is the second round of this. All the kits that were ordered previously to um, Sunday night went out in the mail today. So, if you were one of those people, your kit is on its way, and I think you're going to love it. They're really fun. I need to cut some more cardstock because I cut a bunch of extras, but I used them already. A bunch of extra pre-cut cardstock packs. They're gone already, so... Oh, yeah, and tomorrow is the third release for Celebration. I think you're right, Lisa. Um, just for about a week exactly a week Stampin' Up! is going to have a third release of Celebration where they're going to have a few things out of the annual catalog I believe that are available to get free with your Celebration qualified orders so I think it's probably a little excess inventory that we have right now that Stampin' Up! is willing to offer you if you've already gotten all the Celebration items that you want, you may find something in this third release of products out of the annual catalog that will be right up your alley or that you've had your eye on. So, yeah, we're going to get that tomorrow. We don't know what it is yet. Um, I know lots of times you guys think that I have insider information, and oftentimes that is not the case. I know when you know. So, yeah. Um, Jenny says she's one of those people. <laughs> Yay, thank you. And you're welcome. Um, you guys have yourselves a good night. I'm going to say good night and get to my emails. Take care. Stay healthy. Practice your social distancing. Stay away from people. And let's get this virus gone and out of here so we can go back to normal life. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.